Hello, today we are going to look at the uh, Arduino EC and pH sensor. Um, this unit will measure the uh, uh, water pH and water conductivity and simultaneously send analog output signal voltage output to Arduino. Uh, this unit is, uh, works off of 12 volt power supply has a cable for power supply and has a cable for the outputs of EC and pH and it also has calibration trim pots for EC and for pH 4 pH and 7 pH buffer calibration and it, it, this unit does not come with a pH sensor so you can use any general purpose pH sensor and you can or it comes with the EC sensor uh, with a DIN connector which you can connect to the unit. Uh, it has a cable of a, I think about one meter length and uh, I've just connected my general purpose pH sensor is just a, a standard uh, pH probe. I have a 7 pH and 4 pH buffer solutions that we're going to calibrate and I also have a, a conductivity uh, water of uh, 500 EC uh, that will be 0.5 EC, it's 500 micro siemens tap water and I just have a, also a tap water here which we're going to put both probes in just to see how this unit reacts to it I've loaded the sketch for pH and EC so uh, it's pretty straight, connections are pretty straightforward uh, you can see I have two grounds over here, one for pH, one for EC we'll go to grounds and I have the red wire going for the pH on A2 and I have the EC with the white wire going to A1 and I've loaded the sketch and I've powered the unit up uh, we have the green light on and let's see how this unit works with both EC and pH simultaneously going to Arduino. Well first let's let's check the let's verify the pH calibration so I have the sensor here going into 4 pH pretty close and I'm gonna rinse it and I'm gonna put on a 7 pH buffer solution Seven point one. We can lower it a little bit. Now, when you touch the unit, it's kind of touch sensitive slightly. So well, it's uh, it's actually pretty close. I don't even have to calibrate it, but I will do it anyways, just just to prove that it can be done. Seven point zero one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, looks like our pH is pretty stable. And let's do the EC. So the EC sensor is a, a, a little, this one item, this item here, which has graphite uh, electrodes. It has a half inch MPT where you can connect to a T. And uh, let's put it into 500 micro Siemens. In this case, it'll be 0.5, I should read 0.5 EC on the screen. Now the trick with this sensor is you don't, if it's in the tank you don't want it to be all the way to the, on the ground uh, touching the base of the glass. Have at least one inch space and it's reading about 52 which is 520. Uh, let's see it's pretty close actually. Well, let's see. 53. So now let's calibrate the EC to to read 500 or 0 0.50. I hope you can see the screen. I made the fonts bigger. Okay. There you go. So now you notice when I touch the unit, it gets all excited. I guess. <laughs> Okay, so we have 6.96 pH, should be 7, and we have 0 0.5 uh, for the EC. 
and notice everything's touching uh, in normal operation everything should be stable and uh, you shouldn't be touching the box or moving the box everything should be connected at, and firmly attached so now let's put our pH sensor into our tank okay Uh, it's been about 6.5558. Well, you should run it for for a little while until it gets stabilized. The reading you can mix it here. 6.70. Now, well, it's gonna go to seven. I, I, I would say and stop. Okay, in this case, let's say it's reading, uh, reading should be about seven. And uh, what happens is when, uh, just remember this reading, 6.95, let's say. And we are putting our TDS probe in there. And the reading should be about 4100, I mean uh, 410 EC. Now look what happened to pH, it's about 6.28, it went down to 6.28 from seven. Notice that seven, and as soon as you put the sensor in, EC probe in, there's some sort of a crosstalk. The reading goes down to 6.384 and tries to recover. In this case, what I would do is I would I would adjust this back to seven, the pH. There you go. So this should be your nominal reading in this tank is 7 and 400. So as you can see the readings are stable, almost 7 pH and 410 EC so it is possible to control both pH and EC in a single tank with single Arduino and have a stable uh, reading coming out of the uh, uh, the analog outputs without any crosstalk or pH ground loop. I just wanted to show you that uh, the interaction between the pH and the EC so it's about just to be uh, more precise, it's about the reading is 764. So about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 pH of a difference when you insert the EC sensor in. So and you can compensate that by adjusting the 7 pH fine tune, bringing it down to 7 pH. That way your readings will be accurate. So this is the EC and pH transmitters. Arduino EC and pH sensor, uh, two in one. Hey, thanks for watching.